Hi guys, this time we will work on matrices topic and we will look different functions used for matrices in the scilab. So let's create our first matrix, A matrix, with uh, two columns and three rows. In order to use columns, we need uh, to use the semicolon, as you see, and here is our first matrix and let's create now identity matrix which is very much used in different situations and uh, as well as the zeros matrix and here is our identity matrix so in the diagonal ones and the rest is zero then uh, zeros let's create three by three so here is zeros matrix and basic functions for matrices for example we can calculate the sum of sum and mean of the elements of the matrix and so let's do this it's simple just sum a and mean a um, another important parameter of course finding determinant inverse function and transpose of the matrices uh, so uh, let's first of all uh, again write a matrix and transpose of the a matrix simply using this symbol and here is the transpose simply the rows and columns change it and then determinant of the matrix but for determinant we need square matrix so I'm going to create one square matrix so determinant B and for inverse as well we need the square matrix and inverse B so we can also for example find the inverse in this way let's do this let's create an identity matrix uh, 2 by 2 2 by 2 Sorry. And what we do, we dy identity matrix to B, and here you see, or you don't see, here you see the same result of using one time with inverse and second time just simply dividing the same result. So let's go uh, in the end of this tutorial look at matrix and element wise multiplication so uh, let's create um, consistent matrices for uh, multiplication and multiplication uh, purpose uh, for example a transpose is very good matrix a transpose is 3 by 2 we can then multiply d to B because it's 2 by 2 matrix so 3 by 2 2 by 2 should give us 3 by 2 again uh, inconsistent matrix ah, sorry we need to use AT matrix so here it is and of course element wise multiplication but for element wise multiplication we need uh, the uh, matrices in the same size so let's create one C matrix again 2 by 2 and multiply it to B in order to multiply the element files we need to use this dot symbol here and it, it will mean element files and matrix again let's see what it be so in the first time we've multiplied element files c by b and the second time we've multiplied a matrix uh, thank you for watching in the next tutorial 100 person look we will do post for loop and we will do matrices in the same tutorial and we will generate fibonacci numbers in silent